my objective today is to derive the maxwell stefan diffusion formulation starting with the uh, theory and tenets of uh, irreversible thermodynamics i also compare the Onsaga formulation for multi-component diffusion with the maxwell stefan formulation everything i present today is uh, contained in the supplementary information accompanying my paper diffusing uphill with james clark maxwell and josep stefan published in chemical engineering science 2019. my presentation today is a follow-up of my uh, talk irreversible thermodynamics of diffusion on my youtube channel and also related to this presentation are two other videos what drive diffusion and uphill diffusion also on my channel diffusion in n component mixtures the uh, rate of entropy production can be expressed as the sum of the products of two factors one a driving force and the other one the uh, differences in the velocities of transport of component i with respect to a reference velocity in this case the mass average reference velocity for the mixture v the uh, second law of thermodynamics asserts that the rate of entropy production must be positive definite the various uh, terms in this expression are as follows c sub t is the total molar concentration r is the gas constant d sub i is the generalized driving force for component i that i shall discuss shortly and um, u sub i is the velocity of transport of species i the generalized driving force consists of, of um, a sum of three separate contributions the first one is due to the gradients in the uh, isobaric isothermal gradient of the uh, chemical potential the second term consists of uh, the uh, contribution of the pressure gradient and this has a term that is the difference in the volume fraction and the mass fraction volume fraction phi i and the mass fraction omega i the pressure gradients are um, effective in uh, producing um, relative transport of component species i with respect to the mixture provided there is a difference in the volume fraction and the mass fraction the last term consists of uh, contributions due to uh, external body forces such as um, centrifugal forces and electrostatic potential gradients the term here f with a superscript tilde and a subscript i represents the body force acting per kilogram of species i the physical significance of this uh, driving force is that uh, if we multiply d sub i by the total molar concentration c sub t by r times t we have the force acting per unit volume of solution tending to move species i with respect to the mixture and this term has the units of newtons per cubic meter the gibbs duane equation leads to the constraint 
the that the uh, sum of the uh, driving forces di must be zero the uh, rate of entropy production is uh, the sum of the products of the uh, driving forces d sub i times the velocity differences the velocity differences between component i and the uh, mass average reference velocity if this term is multiplied by uh, the molar concentration of species i we obtain the molar fluxes so essentially the uh, rate of entropy production is the sum of products of uh, fluxes and driving forces we remind ourselves that the uh, driving force for species i consists of three separate terms the first term is the uh, contribution of the chemical potential gradient the second term is the uh, contribution of the pressure gradient and the third term is uh, due to the influence of uh, influence of external body forces such as uh, centrifugal forces and uh, electrostatic potential gradients in the onsaga formulation we may uh, express that each driving force is linearly dependent on uh, all the fluxes of the components in the mixture and define a uh, set of coefficients beta sub ij and uh, the on saga reciprocal relations demand that the uh, matrix of elements beta are symmetric if we further impose the uh, gibbs duhem constraint that the uh, sum of the driving forces uh, is zero then we must have this constraint on the uh, beta ij coefficients which leads to the conclusion that the uh, sum over all components i to n of beta ij must be equal to zero and a consequence of this um, restraint is that uh, we may uh, replace the reference velocity v here which is the mass average reference velocity by any other arbitrarily chosen velocity the uh, maxwell stefan uh, formulation we choose the uh, reference velocity to be uh, the velocity of transport of uh, species i and the onsaga formulation therefore is rewritten in the form a driving force as a linearly dependent function of the velocity difference between uh, species j and species i furthermore we uh, uh, define a set of paired diffusivities d sub ij d has a line through it which equals um, xi times xj where xi xj are the uh, mole fractions of components r and j ct is the total molar concentration r is the gas constant and t is the temperature the important advantage of redefining the uh, coefficients in this manner is that for an ideal uh, gas mixture these relations collapse to yield the uh, kinetic gas theory the uh, pair coefficients dij are independent of the uh, reference velocity frame and also independent of the uh, the uh, number of driving forces that are exerting and causing relative motion in other words 
the uh, coefficient dij is the same whether the chemical potential gradient acts on its own or in the presence of the pressure gradient and external driving forces. This is an important persuasive advantage of the MS formulation over the uh, Onsaga formulation. I also stress this in uh, my presentation on uphill diffusion that is uh, viewable on my YouTube channel.